this climactic win? It's, I mean, it's, it, we, we were prepared for it. We knew it was going to happen. We knew what type of atmosphere we were going to come into. So we, we prepared for it and talked about it all week. Um, I actually keep the guys out of practice on, Sunday, on Saturday uh, to get them motivated because I didn't think they had enough energy. And, and then tonight, we came in knowing that this, this type of atmosphere was going to be here. We were, we were ready for it. Yeah, of course, this, this atmosphere was bananas because, one, it's a small gym and everyone's right on top of you. How were you guys able to tune out all the noise and focus on what you had to do at hand? That's, it just comes with maturity. You know, that, and that's, that's the best I can say, you know, because we, we have some veteran guys, uh, some guys that's played in this type of atmosphere last year. So we were able to kind of mask our emotions and get out there and play, play the game. Coach, in the back game of basketball, you have to be a great counterpuncher and uh, counterpunch on runs. Tonight, you did that You did that very well. Talk about the way you guys were able to respond to everything kicker time threw at you. Well, again, it goes to, to mature and veteran players. Um, and, I, and I pride ourselves on our conditioning level. And our conditioning level kind of kept us in the game, you know, because it was hot, it was emotional, and it's easy to, to lose that energy, you know, because you exert, exert so much in the, court, in, the, in the course of the game. So our energy level really took over and, uh, and got us in, kept us in those passing lanes and active and, you know, and fresh mind. In the span of 30 seconds, you guys put up, you went on like an 11 and 0 run. Talk about the, the wherewithal for you guys to put together something like that late in the game. Again, conditioning level. You know, they, you know, they kind of they had a couple of lazy passes, and um, and we did, we had, we anticipated well, and and um, it's, again, it goes back to how we practice. You know, and um, and get after it. You know, and having older guys, our older guys playing, you know, against the younger guys and so forth. And the younger guys. You know, really pushing it, the, the older guys, the veterans, and and that's what I think that was the, the most part. Our anticipation was there because our mind was still fresh from the condition. What surprised you most about tonight's win? Um, is is how we we stayed locked in. You know, um, you know that that was the big the biggest part. How we stayed. You know, the bench stayed engaged, everybody stayed engaged, and, and that was the biggest thing. As long as we stay together and continue to play hard like we play, you know, and then, you know, um, the guys, Kick Tan kind of missed some shots down the stretch there. They got good looks, and that kind of that kind of helped us out a little bit. Coach, as you guys end the regular season and begin the postseason, what is one thing you guys have to lock in on if you want to get to that 4A state championship? Defense, you know, attend, stay, stay paying attention to de de detail, continue to rebound the ball well, box out, and just defend. You know, you, you, you're only going to get as far as your defense takes you.